Okay, I've done a buckboard bacon cure on some garfish. Just got back from Louisiana, caught them on jugs, caught them on trial lines, shot them with bows and arrows. I tell you what, I've experimented a few times with this, and this is one badass recipe. Oh. Went and all it is is brown sugar, sea salt, and then your favorite dry herb seasoning combo. I mean, there's a bunch of them out there. I don't want to start naming them all because it take up the rest of the show. Well, I'm going to put this on there. This cure's been on here for two days. I did some other for five days, six days. It ends up turning it into some other kind of meat product, but it sure ain't fish anymore. But with it just for two days on there, I really like the way it turns out. Now we're going to smoke it for... Okay, Scott. Had it on the smoke for about two hours. I checked it. We're right at 140 inside. Now this doesn't really look like any kind of fish. This looks like some kind of pork or turkey product right now. Alright, here we are with this. You can see that meat's still plenty juicy. Snow white. It looked like you took a big old crab and you uh, filleted him out and you used that meat. Alright, here's the results of that buckboard bacon cure. Again, it was brown sugar, salt, and your favorite dry herb season combination. We left this in there for six days. This is some pork loin, and this is that garfish. You can see how that cure really worked on it. Now this pork, whenever you're cooking it at that lower temperature and just putting all that smoke on it, it ain't going to be done all the way. So you need to slice you some slices of it, fry it out, put it in an omelet, make a sandwich out of it, any of that kind of stuff. The rest of it you want to cut and put in the freezer. This was the cure was only on it for two days. And, uh, you know, we smoked this about 250, 275, got up to 300 every now and again, but for two hours. So you can see how that cure, same seasoning combination, it just, uh, it worked on it. It did what it's supposed to do. It cured it. So, Scott, come get you some of this. Try it out on them California fish. Let me know what kind of wine it tastes good with. And uh, we'll get together and compare notes a little bit later. So go on out there, find you some fish, put some cure on it. You ain't gonna regret it. Talk to you later about it.